Hello, I'm Ben and welcome to Recipes Around the World. Today we're going to be making a margarita, okay? And specifically we're going to be making a watermelon margarita with fresh watermelon cubes, okay? So in the last video I did, I made a melon ball, um, which was a melon-based uh, cocktail. We're going to follow that tradition and make a watermelon margarita, okay? So um, the ingredients we're going to be using for this uh, margarita, we're going to use um, tequila. We're going to use two ounces of tequila. We're going to use uh, one ounce of triple sec to give it a nice orange uh, flavor. We're going to use um, anywhere to two to three ounces uh, of lime juice. If you have a whole fresh uh, lime, you can use that, and we'll, or two to three ounces of fresh lime juice, uh, as I have here. Uh, if you want to give a nice sweet hint of uh, sweetness to it, uh, you can use syrup, as I have here, or any kind of uh, uh, honey, even. Um, I'm just going to add a little dab of syrup to mine. Um, I have my fresh uh, watermelon cubes here, as you can see. And for a garnish, we're going to do, use these uh, melon ball garnishes that I made last time in the melon ball video, as you can see here. Um, I'll put a link to the description on how to make these, the melon ball garnish video. I'll put a link to the description as I make the statement, so you can click on that and um, add that garnish to your repertoire. Uh, we have a salted glass here. I salted the rim of my glass with salt and chili, and I'll have, um, in a separate video down the line, I'll have uh, instructions on how to salt uh, glasses as well, uh, salt the rim of your glasses. Uh, I will be making this drink in a small blender as I have here. Um, you can make your drink in a shaker, uh, shake it and strain. You can, you can blend the uh, watermelon cubes and then transpose that, transpose that to a shaker, add your liquor, uh, and then shake and pour into the glass. Um, I'm just going to blend because to me it kind of does the same thing uh, and it chills the glass much faster than me shaking. So I'm just going to blend right away. So all our ingredients are going to go into the blender. Uh, we're going to blend, put some ice in the blender uh, and pour in a glass using a strainer. Okay. So without further ado, let's make this drink. All right. So first we're going to, I'm going to put my salted glass aside, put my blender front and center. I'm going to add the watermelon cubes to it. Three or four, usually people say a cupful. That should do the job, okay? So let's add another one just for good measure. I really want that watermelon flavor to come through, all right? So we have our watermelon cubes in there. Um, next up, we're gonna do two ounces of tequila. I'm using Jose Cuervo, as you can see here. So let's do a nice two ounces of Jose Cuervo. Okay. So. That's one. That's two. All right. We're going to do, as I said before, one ounce of triple sec. Okay. Let's make this quickly. Okay. We're doing good. We're going to, I'm going to put maybe two ounces of this lime juice. You can add three, whatever, you know, does the job for you. Again, you're the one drinking it. Two or three ounces should work. Okay, two. Let's do three just to keep it funky. Okay. A dash of our syrup just to add some sweet flavor in there. Okay, let's get some ice. I have some ice in my shaker. So I'm just going to add some ice to my blender to give it a nice chill. Okay, let's get this party started. Okay, just a little move of motion there, front and center. Let's watch this blend.
Looks good. And remember, point to remember, the longer you blend or the long, longer you shake, the more chill the drink will be, okay? So I'm gonna blend it for a little bit more. Okay, I like the way this looks. Let's put our rim glass front and center, guys. Okay, let's open our mixture here. And the watermelon uh, has seeds in it, so I don't want any, I wanna limit any chance of any extra things I don't want getting in there. So I'm gonna strain into our glass, as you can see there. Okay, there we go. I got a little bit of it in there, but that should, that should um, still do the job. Um, all right, so to finish, I'll garnish to the side. I'm gonna make it as colorful as possible, guys. Just let this hang over to the side, like so. You can either put it like so. That does the job. And ladies and gentlemen, there is your watermelon Margarita. I will do a, after this uh, shot, I'll do another shot from the top so you see how pretty it looks. Nice, tasty drink, watermelon flavor. I uh, hope you get to try this at home, make it and let me know what you think, okay? Again, guys, I'm Ben. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, short tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoy your watermelon margarita. Please, 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 if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you're on uh, YouTube, please subscribe. If you're on Instagram, Facebook, please like and follow. Uh, please share this video with your friends, try it at home, and I hope you stick around for the next video in this drink series. Take care, be blessed, and cheers.